are the entire members of your household to the month of May 2022. Indeed, the Lord our God has been faithful. For those who are joining us for the first time, I want to welcome you to this special program called Speak to the Month. It is a five minutes online prayer that ushers us into every new month. And our prophetic word for this month of May is May, our month of exceeding gladness. May, our month of exceeding gladness. Our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Psalm 21, verse 6. Psalm 21, verse 6, and I read, For you have made him most blessed forever. You have made him exceedingly glad with your presence. That is reading from the New King James Version. My prayer for you and your household is that you will, God will make you exceedingly glad throughout this month in Jesus' name. There is no doubt that God wants us, his children, to have exceeding gladness. And my prayer for you and your household is that you will not miss your portion this month in Jesus' name. It is important to state here that individuals can experience gladness, communities can also experience gladness. Individuals can experience gladness, communities can also experience gladness. Exodus chapter 18 verse 9, Exodus chapter 18 verse 9, there the scripture talks about Jethro, hearing what God has done for the Israelites since they left Egypt. Scripture records that Jethro was very glad. Deuteronomy chapter 12 verse 12, Deuteronomy chapter 12 verse 12, there God commanded us that we should be glad before him. Not only us, but our sons, our daughters, our men servants, our maid servants, and even the priest that dwells in our land. We discover also that nations and communities can also be glad, as we find in the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 21, Joel chapter 2 verse 21, where the scripture says, Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. We also discover in Psalm 105 verse 38, Psalm 105 verse 38, God speaking about Egypt. He said, Egypt was glad when they departed, for the fear of them fell upon him. I would like to quickly mention before we begin to pray six things that we must do to enjoy gladness. Six things that we must do to enjoy gladness. Number one is salvation. You must give your life to Jesus. Once Jesus is your Lord and personal Savior, you qualify for gladness. Anna speaking in 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 1. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 1. He says, My heart is glad in the Lord. My horn is lifted up in the Lord. My mouth is open wide over my ears because my joy. Because my joy is your salvation. Psalm 40 verse 6, Psalm 40 verse 6, Scripture says, Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in thee. So the first thing that you require to enjoy gladness is salvation. The second thing is meditation upon the word of God. Meditation on the word of God. Psalm 104 verse 34. Psalm 104 verse 34. The psalm is recorded. It says, My meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord. The third thing that you require is fellowship. Fellowship with the children of God. Fellowship with the children of God. Psalm 92 verse 4. Psalm 92 verse 4. It says, I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. The fourth thing that you require are testimonies. Testimonies. Testimonies are the past things that God has done in your life or in the life of someone near you. Once you remember testimonies, you are also glad. Psalm 16 verse 9. Psalm 16 verse 9 says, The Lord has done great things for us, wherefore we are glad. The fifth thing that you require is to support God's righteous cause. Support everything that God supports. Support every project in your church of God. Support evangelism. Psalm 35 verse 27. Psalm 35 verse 27. It says, Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous call. It's God that is speaking there. The last but not the least, God said that we should sing. When you sing, you become glad. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 14. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 14. Scripture says, Sing, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. Now I want you to begin to speak to the Lord. Father, in this month of me, I will experience gladness. Everywhere I turn, it shall be gladness. O God of heaven, I pray that in this month, show the evidence that I am truly blessed. In the name of Jesus, every day of the 31 days of this month of May, let gladness be my portion. Let gladness be my portion. Everywhere I turn, let gladness be my portion. In Jesus' mighty name.
we are praying. Lift up your two hands while I make the following proclamations over you. I pray for you that in this month of May, every day since that you are blessed will find practical fulfillment in your life in Jesus' name. Throughout this month, you will be glad in Jesus' name. Throughout this month, you will hear good news. Good tidings will be your portion in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that all the 31 days of the month of May, you will experience good tidings in Jesus' name. Your son will make you glad. Your daughter will make you glad. Your spouse will make you glad. Your business will make you glad. Your career will make you glad in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you step into this month, you will experience gladness in Jesus' name. Places it at all called desert or wilderness. When you step there, you will experience gladness in Jesus' name. I prophesy that in this month of May, you will blossom. In business, you will blossom. In career, you will blossom. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. I have prayed. God bless you.